Hello and welcome back. This is Greg French. Uh, today I'm going to be talking about VMware vSphere. Uh, two, two of the more important features, the high availability and the DRS, which is the Distributed Resource Scheduler. Uh, this is a demo that I've created uh, by creating a virtual lab. And I'll talk a little bit more about that. I'm also going to have a series uh, to show you how to actually develop your own virtual lab and, and run the vSphere. Uh, vSphere can be downloaded for free or for a trial uh, version from VMware. Uh, it's a very uh, mature, very high-end uh, computer software that's used to virtualize uh, or consolidate uh, large data centers into uh, smaller amounts of hardware using the virtualization software. Uh, very uh, valuable uh, certifications, uh, very valuable software. There's a new uh, certification that's available through VMware. It's called the V. Uh, CA, which is the VMware Certified Associate. Uh, there's several of these available. The data center virtualization is one I just uh, received. Right now they have a free voucher uh, that's available to provide uh, the certification. Also they have some free training. Uh, the voucher will be good till January 31st. Uh, so if you're uh, inclined, you can go to VMware, uh, look at their new VCA certification, find their free training and also the voucher and you could actually get certified. Uh, very valuable certifications from the, from VMware. Uh, the software is being utilized more and more throughout industry uh, to consolidate data centers, uh, virtualize them, also using cloud features uh, to be able to do a lot of uh, really fantastic things uh, such as uh, high availability, DRS uh, and fault tolerance. And we'll be talking today about the high availability and the DRS. Uh, this particular picture here is the V uh, Center uh, application or appliance that is used to uh, set up and control your vSphere environment. Uh, if you notice over here on the left, uh, you'll see a couple of IP addresses. One is 192.168.60 and 192.168.170. These two are actually hosts, virtual hosts, that have been nested in the virtual host down here that I installed on an i5 Dell computer. You need a computer that has the virtualization, virtualization feature, either the Intel or the AMD. Uh, once you set that up, you can install uh, what is called the uh, ESXi, which is your hypervisor. This is the software that is used uh, to virtualize other uh, operating systems or other appliances. Now, after setting up this hypervisor, this ESXi, I was able to install or nest two more of those. And also, you would notice there are four uh, operating systems here. They're Windows uh, 2003 server. I've got two running on one of the uh, nested uh, hypervisors and two running on the other nested hypervisor. And then you can see I've selected uh, this particular hypervisor, the virtual machines, and these are the two virtual machines that are running on this hypervisor. Now the next picture shows the other hypervisor that's also running uh, two servers. Now for the high availability, if one of these two uh, machines here was lost or, or died or failed, uh, under the HA, the high availability, since I've set up what's called a cluster here, uh, one, either one of these failing, these virtual machines will automatically transfer over to the other host and uh, restart. And I'm going to demonstrate that. Uh, this, picture, this picture here shows this first uh, virtual machine or hypervisor. I'm going to shut it down. All you need to do is right click and you can select the shutdown. Once you go to the shutdown, <clears throat> it begins to uh, set off an alarm. Uh, since we're in a cluster environment, both of these uh, are protected. So if one fails, uh, the hypervisor or the, the vSphere uh, high availability kicks in and uh, will restart these on the other uh, host. So you can see I've got some alarms here. Uh, hypervisor HA host status uh, that shows that the power, you know, we have a power interruption here on this particular uh, hypervisor or host. And what's going to happen next is all four of the virtual machines are going to be running on the second hypervisor. So the uh, A and B, which are running on the first hypervisor, have now been transferred and restarted on the second. 
this is one of the really valuable features of the VMware software is having this high availability. So if one of your hosts uh, was to suffer some catastrophic failure, these virtual machines would automatically be restarted on a second. And this only takes about a minute uh, for this to be performed. So you would not uh, have any great length of time uh, where you would have interrupted services. Now on the next one here, we're going to talk about DRS, Distributed Resource Schedule. This is another great feature of VMware vSphere. When uh, I restart this host that was failed, uh, DSR will kick in and it can automatically restart or move these, uh, VM, uh, these virtual machines, these two servers, back to the original host. And I'll show you that. Here we have some uh, recommendations under DRS. I have it running just in the manual mode so that you can see it's made two recommendations to move these uh, virtual machines back from that second uh, host back to the first since we've got it operational again with the power turned on. So I'm going to click on the apply recommendations and the two virtual machines, the two servers, will now move back to that first host and restart. Uh, another feature of the DRS is it can load balance uh, when uh, the CPOs get overloaded. Uh, what it does is it looks at all four of the virtual uh, machines and if any of the virtual machines is uh, overusing its resources, it can automatically try to move that virtual machine to another host uh, where uh, some resources might be available. So what I've done here is I've started what's called uh, CPU Busy and it's just a little uh, VBS routine or script that uh, loads down the CPU. Uh, once it's loaded down, you'll see that the CPU on uh, this particular host, both the CPUs are running uh, at their max uh, for the available resources. Uh, the DRS will kick in and recognize that. Uh, you'll see an alert where we have host uh, CPU usage uh, running too high, which is saturating our host. Uh, another set of recommendations comes up and this, these recommendations are to start moving some of these uh, virtual machines around. What it wants to do is take one of those virtual machines that is uh, maxed out and move it to the other host and then take one of the virtual machines on that host that isn't uh, running a, a high load uh, back to this, to this first host. So I'm going to go ahead and select those recommendations and you'll see that the hosts um, now have these virtual machines changed around uh, I've got one virtual machine that still has pretty much a saturated CPU and one that is uh, lightly loaded. So you can see DRS is another great uh, uh, feature of VMware. If it's able to do some load balancing, uh, both from the CPU usage and also if memory uh, is starting to be used uh, to, to max. So here's a couple of uh, features in vSphere, uh, very valuable features. Uh, Again, I would uh, recommend that you check out the VMware certifications, the associate level, uh, since there is a free certification available. And it's only until January 31st, but if you use Google, you can find it online. And at the VMware.com uh, site, uh, you can also find some more information about the VCA certification and also about the software that you can download and use uh, for free. Uh, there's a trial period of 60 days on the hypervisor and I think 60 days on the vCenter. Uh, I'll be creating another series on all of this showing you how to set up a lab and how to run uh, many of the features that you can find in this uh, vSphere product. Anyway, thank you very much for your time. I uh, hope to see you again.